is a test drive video for the 1929 Rolls-Royce Springfield Phantom 1 locked body town car. James is driving it. You know, his name really is James. So I'll open up the chauffeur's compartment. So this Phantom 1 was ordered <clears throat> new, specially ordered uh, by the um, by William Fonstock. Um, William, and it was actually for his wife. Uh, his office was on 2 Wall Street, and his Manhattan home was at 457 Fifth Avenue uh, in in uh, in New York, obviously. Um, they also had the fun stocks were well known. They're one of the wealthiest families uh, in the United States at the time. They, uh, uh, two years before ordering this, they just completed the last of the great Newport mansions. Uh, Charles A. Platt designed uh, Boaster. Um, and uh, which is a, a, just an amazing uh, mansion on Narragansett Avenue. The uh, uh, William Fonstock um, ordered it for his uh, his wife, and uh, it was special ordered on a 150 inch wheelbase, which ended up being 148 and a half inch. But it was to replicate the car that they traded in to buy this, which was a 1914 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost. Very, very cool. Um, the, this car has been in the Rolls-Royce Owners Club since 1952. So a, a full 70 years of, of documentation in the Rolls-Royce Owners Club. Um, a couple of very, very well-respected uh, collectors had it. The last collector uh, has had it for, you know, about 30 years. Uh, and he had, he invested $100,000 in its restoration, including by noted experts like Coldwell Engineering, Bill Cook, Leonard Reese, and Odyssey Restoration. It's an early Springfield uh, Phantom, so it's it's chrome it's rather than one of the first uh, Rolls Royces to be chrome. So today it's about 85 degrees, and you can see. The uh, oil pressure is, is good. The operating temperature is about 170, which is, which is fine. Um, the speedometer is working. The amp meter uh, is, is working. Um, so very, very impressive. Very impressive. 